Sunday. And today, I'm going to call a conversation with your girl, Shug. Can you bring it a minute? Go to that YouTube channel. Shug, can you? Hit subscribe. Look at some of the videos. And if you see something you like, just hit share. I know that we ain't so disrespectful outside. <laughs> get it together let me get it together so guys real quick real quick you know i don't want to go too far in the syllabus you know i don't even come on on no saturday and sunday so i don't want to get too far off in the syllabus we left off friday talking about mental health talking about how your therapy sessions are going and also if you had the chance to take those babies to get some therapy and get their head checked i know so we just gonna start right in a little pocket what triggers you like <laughs> and it ain't necessarily got to be just about what you're going through with the baby even though that's mainly what the segment is about but you know to make you pop off or make you you know upset or take you to the limit or take you to like what's <laughs> yeah what trigger you because like i tell you i cry every morning and then i tell you what triggered me when, when Facebook be posting the past, your memories, it's always my baby in the pictures with all my other kids. So it's always a triggering moment. So today, guess what triggered me this morning? I was like, I was like, Lord, let me have one day off from crying. Like, I don't want to cry today. But Lord, just, I'm watching Surviving R. Kelly. I know, I've seen it already. And I'm going to be honest, when I watched it the first time, I think it was just, you know, the survivors. That, that's what I was watching it for, you know, in support of them and what they went through. So I was focused on that. So this time around when I watched it, I was kind of focused on the parents. I know. And so every time they spoke and they did their little interviews or whatever, I'm crying like a mug. Oh, my God. I felt every parent's story. Oh, my God. Listening to the stuff that they were saying, how they haven't seen their baby, and the mama crying, and the daddy had tore their family apart. And then listening to them, the one of them said it's like she died. Oh, my God. And the other one was like them growing, her growing up without them, them growing without her. And... Oh my God, I'm crying like a baby, forever wondering, you know, how they are, just everything, just everything, everything, everything. And I'm telling you, the, the part when they was interviewing, when Gail was interviewing the girls, and the girls was talking bad about their parents, and telling them that they lying, and, and the fact that the parents was only in it for the money. And I don't know if it was true and what's not, you know, I'm not... Take it sides, even though there's a lot of overwhelming evidence against R. Kelly and the charges filed against him, all this stuff is alleged, I guess, I don't know. But to hear the girls talk about their parents like that, like what would drive a child to turn on their parents and, and turn their back on their family the way that they did? They literally dogged their parents on national TV. And I don't know if it's true or not, but the fact that some stuff you just don't do and some stuff you just don't say, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to honor thy mother and thy father, and it just kills me when you make these children turn against their parents. <sighs> but just, just what would make a child turn their back on their parents and their family? Abuse. Yeah. Rather it be sexual, rather it be physical, rather it be mental or emotional. It's abuse. To force a child to turn their back on their father or their mother or their siblings, a whole family, is what you're forcing this child to do. It's abuse. A few, few months, a few weeks ago, my little uh, nephew was over, little Joey, and I was doing his hair. I, bring this, I took a picture of it. He asked me, he said, you miss your other daughter, don't you? And I looked at him and I said, I do. He said, I know, I miss her too. Like the children don't even ask too much about her no more. They used to ask her all the time, where was she at, where she at, when she coming back, when they used to bombard us with questions because they always over the house. And she loved those kids. She was such a good TT, just like my other daughter. They are such good TTs. Like I wish I was a good TT like that. Like I'm in the process now of trying to build relationships and strengthen relationships that I have with people. And that's one thing I lack in being a, a good TT. I'm not a good TT. I am a good TT, but I'm not a good TT. 
I'll explain in another series. But yeah, she's a good TT, and they both were good TTs when she was under my roof, right? So they ask about her all the time, so they haven't in a while. But little Joey, we all love little Joey. We always get little Joey. We try not to play favoritism with the kids, but we love little Joey. So we would have him all the time, you know. And yeah, he said that just out the blue. Uh, uh, yeah, he said it out the blue. So that's one thing. And I just wonder, the people that do that and force these children to turn on their parents and stuff, like, do they care about their child's salvation? Like, in the Bible, it say, honor thy mother and thy father. Like, you can't possibly be taking that baby to church. You can't possibly be having that baby believe in something if you got this baby acting out the way they acting out and you condoning the good behavior. Because you got to keep in mind, they, they, they giving the baby the green light to behave the way that they behave. As long as they don't behave like that towards them. As long as that baby don't disrespect them. As long as it's okay. But it's okay for them to disrespect you and treat you like crap. Yeah. Them children got to pay for that at the end of the day. Think about that now. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Because that ain't your mama. You can care less. You can care less. But that baby... That baby got an answer for that at the end of the day. That, day. that baby got an answer for that at the end of the day. I can't believe we put all that on these baby shoulders. But, y'all, that's it for Coffee and Conversation today. I couldn't get too far off in the syllabus, guys. So I just wanted to stay right here. It's Sunday. <laughs> yep, those babies. Those babies. That's, that's all I can think about is their, their, their spiritual health. Yeah, when it comes to children, 10 on pump, 4 in the coffee. Yeah, you, they well-being, their mental health, their physical health. You got to think about all that. But their spiritual health, that's important. Yeah. So, y'all, that's it for Coffee and Conversation with your girl. I'm out. Mwah.